Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I cannot find our tripod anywhere since we've had our little baby, which by the way, he is 13 days old today, almost two weeks. Let me just show you how cute he is. Let me bring this down here. Look how stinking sweet. If you hear little noises throughout the video, it's probably him. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys all of the fun fall decor that I found this season. And this year, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I did last year. Last year, I decorated for more of like a Halloween vibe upstairs. So if you want to watch that video, I'll have that linked in the description box below. But for this year, I wanted to do more fall vibes upstairs. And then we're going to be doing Halloween in the basement. So I think that'll be a fun little switch up. The two stores that I went to are Hobby Lobby and Target. So I will show you guys what I got at each store and I'll try to remember prices um, if they're not on the actual item. I'll try to remember what they were. But today I'm just gonna show you the stuff I got and then I'm going to decorate once I'm done with this video. And that video should probably be up tomorrow if not the next day. So stay tuned for that video if you wanna see where I end up putting all of this stuff. All right, here's just an overview of the damage I did. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a haul this big in my life, like not for one single season anyway, but since I kind of got all new decor for up here, um, I did end up getting a lot of stuff. So we're gonna start over here on like this half of the table, just the table is from Target. So I'm gonna tell you guys, once I'm not doing Target, we'll move on to Hobby Lobby but the things I'm showing you right now are all from Target. This was from the dollar spot at Target. This was only five bucks, and I just thought this was really cute. So this is with their fall decor, and it has stripes on the back. I just thought this was so sinking cute, so I couldn't pass this up. These, uh, would these be eucalyptus? Just faux stems. These kind of look like eucalyptus to me, but like, obviously burnt orange. These are just threshold faux stems and they were five bucks a stem. However, if you bought, I think it was like more than four, then they were discounted. So I can't remember exactly how much I paid for those, but they were cheaper than the actual original price. This was in the hearth and hand section. So like the Joanna Gaines Magnolia section. And this is just a giant clear glass bottle and well, it has like a blue tint to it and this was $24. That was kind of a splurge, but I have wanted one of these for a very long time. I need to move this because this is actually not part of Target. I just didn't have anywhere to set it. So this is not a Target find. However, I do want to say this looks a lot like the Joanna Gaines, just like the things you see in her section, but this was actually from Hobby Lobby. So I'll get back to that. Let's go to these other pillows. So this was also in like the threshold section, like just like their normal fall section. And each of these pillows were $20 and I thought they were so pretty. So I have some plaid pillows that I got last year and the plaid I have is like this color with like a burnt orange. So I thought these would look really nice up against those pillows. And I don't know, I feel like for $20, this was kind of a steal. So these little candlesticks were in the hearth and hand section and and these were $3.99. And I actually like them wrapped up like this. I probably will leave them just like that. Let's see, this was in the dollar spot at Target as well. I just thought this was really cute. Let's see, this one was $3. So really, really cute. All right, this is something I've had my eye on for a while. This is another hearth and hand magnolia section and I want this next to my sink. I have a few ideas of what I wanna do with this. The price of this was $32, but again, I feel like that's worth it for a piece that will stay in my house long-term. These two things were also in the dollar spot at Target. And what I love about this, how cute, it's three bucks, but there's four different signs that can interchange in there. So here's like the back side. it says thankful. I love that there's just like a welcome home. So this one could just be up all the time. And this little green one says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Super cute. This one was also at the dollar spot at Target. And this was $3. The last thing I got at Target was this throw and this was $30. So I just thought with these colors on my sofa, I just think this will look really pretty with all the other fall decor that I have around my living room and sofa area. All right, well, I think that's everything from Target. So let's move on to Hobby Lobby. 
And you can see I just got like a plethora of pumpkins. In fact, there's a ton over there. Um, sneak peek of what I'm kind of doing over there. So some of them are up here. I did actually buy more than what's here. You just get the point. It's more pumpkins, whatever. But let's start back here with this sign. So this is massive. Like I want to say it's at least three three and a half feet tall. I've wanted this since last year. I had my eye on it. I just wasn't sure where I would put it. And this year I found the perfect spot for it. So I paid 30 bucks for this, you guys. I know most of you guys know, but at Hobby Lobby, everything is 40% off in the fall section. So whatever the price is, it's about half off. So it was $60, got it for 40% off. So I don't know where you could get a sign that big for that cheap. I just realized I see some legs down here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me show you what this is. <laughs> so you're not thinking I have a kid under the table. We got a giant Darth Vader here. And I don't know how long he's been hanging out right there, but we'll just stick him over here for now. The next thing is this wooden tray. And this is something, again, I will probably have up all the time. I've wanted something on our little chest we have in the front room. And this I thought was the perfect color and that it would go good with just all the holidays. So this was $34.99 and again, this was 40% off. Then I found this like truff looking thing. Like this looks like something that pigs would eat out of at the farm. And I think I'm gonna put this on my dining table and just like fill it with pumpkins. I think that will look really cute. So that's my idea when I saw that. I'm like, ooh, if I put some like greenery and pumpkins in here, it would look really cute. And the price on this was $24.99. And again, this was 40% off. I got these two wreaths at Hobby Lobby and these were $29.99 a piece, but again, half about half off. So basically it was like getting one for free. I have one of these in my bathroom and I love it. I've had it for many years. So I knew that I would love more of these. I have a few different ideas of where I wanna place those. These were from Michael's. I got these a little while ago. So I forgot that I did go there um, before, but let's see, these were, $12.99 and they were half off as well. So I don't know if these, were these in the fall section? I can't remember. Yeah, they're fall. So I'm gonna put these on my mantle and you'll, well, that's where I think I'm gonna put them. But I guess you'll see in the next video where I put them. And these actually, these two pumpkins were also from Michael. So I just love the look of these kinds of pumpkins, especially when they are like lopsided. I feel like they look way more realistic. So. If you can get pumpkins that look real, um, that you can hold on to every year, I think that that's way better because I swear pumpkins are expensive. We actually have a ton growing in our backyard just because I know how crazy I go every fall and how many pumpkins I like to put on my porch. So we plan our own just to save some money there. I feel like this is just kind of like messy and everywhere. So let me show you this one first. So this was $11.99. This was also at Hobby Lobby. And so I paid like six bucks for that, you guys. How cute is that? I love it. I was so happy when I found that. These cute little hello fall signs. I have a few ideas of where I want these. I think these were like three bucks. Yeah, $3.99 and 40% off. This is a little table runner that I'm planning on putting on my chest in the front room, like, like that old treasure chest looking thing I have in the front room. So this was 20 bucks, 40% off, but I thought that this would match this pretty well and I did not have these pillows obviously when I bought this and I think that they look pretty good so hopefully all of this will kind of go together I do have a ton more of these like orange pumpkins so if you're like wait this like isn't really matching the rest of this stuff my three-year-old has put them all over by the fireplace so I just figured you'd get the picture of I got a lot of pumpkins <laughs> And so I didn't need to show you every single pumpkin that I bought, but I do have a lot more in this color. And I love this color. I've never bought this like navy color. I've never bought that before um, in a pumpkin color. I always do greens. I like that, but I really like that navy one. So again, I always get pumpkins with like these little crooked stems just because I feel like they look more realistic. And sometimes I will even get some like cream color paint and just lightly paint um, some like cracks into these pumpkins just to make them look a little bit more real. Kind of like the idea like this, like how these ones look. These are glass or I don't know. They feel like porcelain or something. But 
I wanted a few like nicer looking pumpkins. And then look how stinking cute. So there is like a little branch sticking out the top. Let me try to focus this. Okay, let's see if we can get down here. So there's like a little stick for the stem and I just thought these are so cute. So these were like $3 a piece and I probably will break the stem off. If I'm not sticking it into something, I will always just rip these little stems off. But for like my mantle, my idea is to kind of stick these all over. So I bought a ton of these little tiny baby ones and these were like a dollar a piece. My idea is a lot of the white and green pumpkins up there with a ton of different greenery. So I got a few of these little eucalyptus stems that I will just kind of place all over the place. And I do have more greenery currently on the mantle. Maybe I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here are a few other little pumpkins. These are just really cute too. I wanted to get like a variety of just different colors and textures and we will see where I decided to put them all. These were just really cute. So I picked these up. I think I'm gonna put them on that little magnolia tray over there. And I paid like five or six bucks for these. This was something else that was actually in the fall section. I don't know exactly what I want to do with this. I probably will put it up on there as well, but we will see. And then I got some of these fairy lights that I want to put on my mantle. Normally I do like a yellow or orange light um, or like string lights up there, but this year I wanted to do some like really simple, cute fairy lights. So I got those at Hobby Lobby, but I feel like they have those everywhere. And then these were also, I think I paid three bucks, yeah. I paid about $3 for these and they're just salt and pepper shakers. How cute, it's like a, whoa. It's like a little barn and a little house. How cute are those? So I will probably also put those on there. The next thing I got are these little candlesticks and I got like six of these. So um, these were just in the normal like candle section but that was 50% off. So I got like, hold on, let me see. A few of these little sizes. And actually, I think the other ones I got are a lot shorter than these two. So I'm going to have to go look at those real fast. So anyway, two of those. And then I got a whole bunch of candlesticks. And these were only 6 bucks for these. And they were half off, 50% off. So they were $3 a piece for these huge candles. Then I also got these two really pretty ones. I have a special little idea that I want to do with those. So the last thing I think here to show you are these boxes of decor and they were $11 a piece so again 40% off I don't know why I needed to repeat that every single time I think you guys got the picture I think I'm gonna put some of these in that like trough thing and then also in that tray as well as some of these other pumpkins don't mind the mess back here all the bags I have some Christmas stockings over here don't ask uh, man my back's kind of hurting holding him up this whole time this took longer than it probably seems. I had to take a few stops along the way. I have all my kids at home right now. I try to get this video done before they got home from school today, but this has just been a crazy, like really crazy weird time, you know? I just delivered this baby not even two weeks ago. The kids now are back in school, so like I feel like our schedule is just crazy. And I'm trying to get used to all that. On top of recovering, <laughs> from delivering this cute little chicken nugget. I feel like I'm always really late to the game when it comes to like YouTube and decorating. Like these moms out here are decorating in like July for fall. And I feel like I'm doing it early doing it in September. Um, I'm even doing it earlier this year. Like last year I did it like mid-September towards the end. But I kind of know why now because people are putting these videos out in you know, like the second these stores get their fall decor and then all these moms watching these videos go and hit up the stores and they sell out of all the cute stuff. So you can't get any of the cute stuff. This year I wanted to be a little bit earlier just so I could find the cute stuff and then also tell you where the cute stuff is sold at. All right, my arm's hurting holding the camera up too high. I really need to find that tripod so I can film my decorate with me video. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to prop my camera up to film me decorating the house. Maybe I'll have to just get creative and set it up places. Okay, well anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit the red subscribe button, make sure you do that. I mean, at least do it if you like our videos and enjoy them, and we will keep them coming. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.